Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106DS. This floor plan is pretty similar to the 2108, the difference being that you have a jackknife sofa in place of a dinette. Other than that, again, it's a very similar floor plan. We have a rear bed, a rear bath, and a Murphy bed up front. Still nice and lightweight, and because it's a shallow slide, it does allow you to come in, access the refrigerator, and the bathroom if you need to pull over on the side of the road. If we take a look at the campsite kitchen, you'll notice a couple things right away. One is the upgraded countertops. You have the thermoform countertops here rather than T-mold, which allows you to undermount the sink. You can see that there for a much cleaner look. And when you undermount, it allows you to have almost a flush mount cover here. And that way you can utilize that as prep space. Now you'll see the other side gets a drying rack. And that does just fit right over the entire sink there. And of course you can flip flop them depending on what side you want. If I remove this, you will see it is a double equal stainless steel bowl. And then you have the high rise faucet. You also see the big backsplash, kind of almost more of an accent wall, which I like. It has like that gray subway tile look to it. And then the rest of the countertop is your recessed cooktop. Has a glass cover. This just folds up and back. A glass cover, of course, allows you to use it for prep space. Three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. And there's an oven underneath for baking. Underneath the sink, you'll see plenty of storage for a thin trash can there, electrical outlet, and two full extension drawers. You'll also see a countertop extension, so again, you have that much more prep space. A couple USB ports here, right underneath for electrical outlets, as I mentioned, you have the one in the front, LED light there, storage up top, and then your control panel is actually tucked away, kind of hidden by a door, which I like they do that, it just keeps the look a lot cleaner. As you'd expect, you have your microwave and then your hood there as well, plus your Dometic fridge-freezer combo. Open that up so you can take a look. And also, as you'd probably suspect, that unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. For a furnace, you have a direct vent furnace right here. And a camper this size, it's really all you need. And then you do get the ducted AC unit. The thermostat for that is located here on the back wall that will control both your heat and AC. Also on this back wall, you'll see the multimedia center. This controls the speakers in here as well as outside. It is a DVD player. It's connected to your TV located there. A little bit of storage up top as well as here down below. As we make our way into the back, as I said, this is a rear bath. Uh, you know, one thing I do want to point out actually is the interior doors on the Winnebago, how basically square and true they are. I mean, they shut very easily. There's not a lot of wiggle. And I'm telling you folks, I've opened and closed many Winnebago doors and in out of all the RVs that I review, they are probably one of the best. They, it doesn't seem like a difficult thing to do, but they do a great job at it. Uh, you will see right up top is your robe hook. Good spot for a towel there. Toilet directly inside the bathroom. Walk in, sit down. I have pretty good leg space as well as shoulder space here too. And over to the side is our sink. Now you will see it's a big stainless steel bowl. I like that. Electrical outlet underneath, some plumbing access there mirrored medicine cabinet up top, plus you have the big wardrobe. You can see the hanging rod underneath, a little bit of storage up top, and then more right down below. Over to this side is the shower. I'll stand in here, so I'm six foot tall. As you can see, without the skylight, I definitely have to duck down. With the skylight, I probably have another two, maybe three inches up there, so you can probably be six two as long as you don't leave this skylight area. Uh, and realistically, you know, it does take up a pretty good size uh, area of the shower, so you probably wouldn't move much here anyway. You do have the hand wand to make showering a little bit easier, as well as the built-in door here. When we step back out, you will see on the off-camp side, you have the slide-out jackknife sofa. And as I said, this is kind of what differentiates the uh, 2106 from the 2108, is the sofa rather than the dinette. There is a table right back here that you can pull out. So if you want a table in front, that's where it's stored at. It is a little hefty realistically, so um, you know you might want to use two people to, to try to be able to pull that up and out. But that way you have a table that you can sit and eat a meal at or play a game at. A little bit of storage right up top there. Privacy curtain to close off the bedroom. And then as I mentioned, it has the Murphy bed. Now I actually really like the Winnebago Murphy bed. It works very well. There is a release right down here. You just click that, kind of show you as I pull this up. So the release is right here, just click that and it lets it go. It's strut supported, 
sits up just like so. Now, when it comes to Murphy beds, it's either one of two things, right? It's form or function. So it's either gonna look really nice or it's gonna work nice. I have yet to find one that's a good mix of both. This one doesn't look the best, but it is super simple and easy to use. And you can put a comfortable mattress on there. It doesn't have like a split or anything like that. And then the jackknife sofa, as you'd expect, folds up just like that. And now you have your sofa, so you have a good spot to sit and watch TV. You'll also see on the side, you have your wardrobe there, your hanging rack, a hanging rack up top. Right down underneath is electrical outlet plus dual USB ports. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106DS. Up front is a power tongue jack, making it easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also see there's a light on there, and in the rare event it fails, there's also a manual override. Behind that are two 20 pound tanks with a cover. It is a 30 pound tank cover here. So if you want to upgrade at a later time, you already have the cover for it. Behind that, you will see rails there for your battery. And coming up the front is diamond plating, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Above that is the front three quarter cap. That is newer for the Micro Mini Series. Beautiful front cap there. Gives it a much more uh, aesthetically pleasing look to the front end, as well as adds a little bit of insulation value, probably negligible in all reality, but it definitely makes the outside look much nicer. For the front storage compartment, now one of the things on Murphy bed is a lot of times you lose storage, you do lose a little bit here, but you'll see how wide the storage door is. Also, it has a covered hinge, it is slam latch and magnetic catch. And when you take a look inside, you'll see you actually have pretty good storage. Given the fact that this isn't a foldable mattress, having a full pass-through storage is actually pretty impressive in my book. You will also see the power awning, touch a button to roll that out, same thing to have it go right back in. And there's an LED light strip on there, a couple outside speakers, as I mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. To get into the 2106, you have the foldable grab handle here as well as two fold-out steps. Those steps are aluminum so they won't rust, plus they have the little rubber on there for some extra traction and control when entering this RV. Coming down the side, you will see your fresh water fill is right here on the camp side. Also you have a spot to mount a TV if you want a TV on the outside of the coach. You would of course plug that in here on the electrical outlet and the cable inlet is a little bit further down, or cable outlet rather, sorry, a little bit further down there. 15 inch tires on the Micro Mini. A lot of times uh, RVs this size have 14 inch tires, so you get the bigger tires, which is great. A little more ground clearance, aluminum alloy wheels, so they're not gonna rust. And they have the torsion axles on there as well, so uh, upgraded suspension system, pretty great all around. Coming around to the back side, you will see the square tubular bumper with end caps, gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is your spare tire with the cover, so it'll help keep that in good shape and it's very easy to access. Rear mounted ladder, so you can quickly and easily access the fully walkable roof, whether it's for maintenance or if you just need to get up there to sweep it off, the ladder makes it easy to do so. Plus you have backup camera prep, so if you want a backup camera, Having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Right around the off camp side, 30 amp detachable power cord, we'll plug in right there. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access, cable inlet and satellite inlet, your uh, city water fill if you have city water at the campsite, and you will see the black tank flush located here, making it easier to wash out the black tank. Lastly, if we drop down right below, you will see your termination and you have insulated valves. You can see both your black tank and gray tank valves are insulated right there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106DS. If you're interested in this beautiful lightweight travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.